In today's video, we will be summarizing the plot of a 2021 French 3D computer animated adventure comedy film called Around the World in 80 Days. Seat back, grab your snacks and enjoy. On an island, in a village of shrimps, there is a little monkey whose name is Passapartout. This little monkey has a great interest in exploring the world and discovering new places. Passapartout had a dream that he embarked on an advent to travel the world in 80 days. In his dream, he saw himself being hailed and celebrated by the shrimps as he prepares to head out into the boat for his adventure. His mom appears from behind him and scolds him for attempting to leave her and explore the world. Passapartout gets anxious in this dream, and he wakes up with a jolt, falling across the floor and scattering his adventure books. He hears his mom approaching his room while calling for him, so he immediately hides his books and everything adventure-related. Passapartout's mom enters the room to check up on her only child, then she sees him trying to hide a book. She picks up the book, and seeing its content, she becomes hysterical and reprimands her son for having desires to explore the world and leave her. The mother monkey begs her son not to leave her, she tells him his adventurous spirit was what made her take him away from the jungle as a baby. Passapartout requests permission from his mom to go out, and she allows him, not before she had clad him with a protective outfit. He heads out into the village, reading a book as he walks along the road. He bumps into the security officer of the village, a giant rat named Agent Fix. Passapartout sits at the boardwalk reading his book when he is approached by some shrimp who come to bully him. In the middle of this interaction, Passapartout notices a surfing frog in the ocean and draws the attention of the shrimps to it. They all stare into the ocean, watching a green frog surf through the ocean waves. This frog sees the crowd watching him, so he decides to put on a show for them to display his skills, but he is soon sighted by a bird who tries to pick him from the water and eat him up. The shrimps who are watching decide to place a bet against him, hoping that he would be eaten by the bird. The frog struggles to protect himself from the bird and loses control in the water, and he is later washed on the rocks of the island unconscious. Passapartout runs to him and offers mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation which, after a while, revives the frog. The shrimps gather around the stranger but unknown to them. This frog is a con artist and he pickpockets them while they are discussing. Agent Fix arrives and orders the animals to return to their activities while she interrogates the frog, and he reveals to her that his name is Phileas and he is a world traveler. After the agent leaves Phileas, Passapartout runs to him and excitedly asks if he is truly a world traveler, telling Phileas that he has spent years preparing to embark on his adventure. He tells Phileas about his role model, the greatest explorer of all time who traveled round the world in 90 days. Phileas doesn't seem impressed and mentions to Passapartout that he would break the record by traveling the world in 80 days. The shrimps gather at this announcement and place a bet on this, they bring out all their money and put them all in a box. Phileas is told that the money would be his reward if he wins and Passapartout volunteers to go with him. Phileas doesn't seem happy about this, as he has different plans. The shrimps agree to this, asking them to snap pictures of every location they stop at. They have high hopes that both of them would ever survive the journey. Phileas asks Passapartout if he could spend the night at his place, and he accepts but tells him not to inform his mom about their journey. Regardless, Phileas reveals the truth to Passapartout's mom who locks her son inside his room and sends Phileas out of her house. Passapartout plans to escape through his window and embark on the journey and Phileas asks him for money for their boat ticket, which he gives to him. The next morning, news goes out at the village bank was broken into and all the money stolen from it. Agent Fix goes into the bank to carry out an investigation and sees the footprints of a frog, so she concludes that Phileas is the culprit. Outside the village, a ferry conveying passengers announces its arrival, waking Passapart out from his sleep. He opens his window and sees Phileas getting into the ferry without him. Raising an alarm, he immediately gets his backpack and runs out of his house through the window. He stumbles on the ground on his way to the boat as he tries to reach it on time. The ferry starts leaving, so he coins across several boxes and jumps towards the moving ferry. Passapartout falls into the water but later gets out into the ferry. He is very furious at Phileas and accuses him of lying to him. The frog apologizes to him and tells him that he feared that Passapartout would weigh him down on the journey. They hear a scream from the village and see Passapartout's mom standing on the boardwalk, feeling very furious. Agent Fix appears behind her asking for the whereabouts of Phileas and the mother monkey informs her that he is on the ferry with Passapartout. Agent Fix shoots herself with a cannon into the ferry and asks Passapartout about Phileas's whereabouts, stating that the frog stole from the bank in the village. Passapartout runs away from her to find Phileas and informs him about the appearance of Agent Fix on the ferry. She finds them and attempts to attack, but the boat is pushed by the ocean current thereby tossing her across the floor into the ferry chambers. 
Phileas and Passapart out get thrown into the ocean and the monkey drowns but gets saved by Phileas. Together, they travel across the ocean using Phileas' surfboard and the total of their ocean travel was 17 days. On the 18th day, they walk through the desert looking very famished, tired, and thirsty with the sun burning down on them. They stop along the way to regain some strength and Passapart out sees a cactus in a distance. So, they head towards it and sip water from it using straws provided by Phileas. They are soon approached by a group of scorpions on bikes, who accuse them of stealing water from their cactus. Phileas distracts them and uses the opportunity to run away with Passapart out. The scorpions do not follow them, and they continue on their journey. A few moments later, they walk into quicksand and get stuck in it until the next day. On the next day, Passapart out comes up with a plan that gets them out of the quicksand, and they continue on their journey. Far behind them is Agent Fix, who has been following them since the beginning of their adventure. She drinks from the same cactus and is approached by the scorpions who try to attack her, but she beats them up and rides into the sunset with her bike. Passapart out and Phileas arrive at a town called Cetridentia on the 25th day of their journey. This town is busy with different activities going happening in it. Passapart out is excited by everything he sees, and he runs around from one place to the other. Agent Fix arrives in the town and sticks flyers declaring Phileas wanted on walls. Some people from the town recognize him and go after him. Phileas takes to his heels with Passapart out running with him, and they run around the town, across buildings and rooftops. They see their train leaving, so they run after it, and finally, Phileas holds onto it and pulls Passapart out with him on the train. On the train, Passapart out gets carried away talking to a stranger while Phileas takes a stroll. Along the way, he sees Agent Fix who tries to arrest him, but he runs away again. They both climb on the roof of the train, trying to outsmart each other. Passapart out sees his partner in danger and runs out to help him on the roof. They both do their best to evade the relentless Agent Fix. The train drives past a forest, and Phileas grabs his partner's hands and jumps into a swamp. Inside this jungle, they take a picture and send it back to the shrimps in the village, as they did to many others. The pictures arrive in the village and Passapart Out's mother is relieved that he is alive, and she keeps track of his journey with a map. Back inside the forest, it is night and the explorers are confused about the road to take. Passapart Out asks Phileas about their map, which he reveals that he ate and gets the little monkey furious. They get into an argument and break into a fight inside the forest. They fall across trees during their fight and see a band of villagers heading toward the volcano to sacrifice a female frog. These two head out to rescue the frog and get attacked with fire arrows by the villagers. Finally, they all escape from the angry villagers and journey inside the forest. The frog which they rescued is the princess of Akita and her name is Ada. She builds planes and her plane crashed into the jungle, thus putting her at the mercy of the villagers. She leads them on their way to Akita where they would take a ferry back home. They journey across several countries in different weathers for so many days. At every location, they take pictures and send them down to their village, which Passapart Out's mom receives as she awaits her son's return. The travelers finally arrive at Akita so they and the princess go their separate ways. In Akita, Passapart Out sees the museum of his role model, a record-breaking explorer. He runs into it and while marveling at the different artifacts, Passapart Out sees the legend in flesh and he passes out. Phileas runs along the museum to look for his partner and sees his father. The legend which was Passapart Out's inspiration is Phileas's dad, who wasn't around during his childhood. His dad tried to reconcile with him, but Agent Fix arrives at the back of the bird and this bird picks Phileas, carrying him away. While in the air, Agent Fix reveals to Phileas that it was she who robbed the bank. It was all part of her evil plan to frame him and to make him lose the bet and appear as the hero. Phileas is flabbergasted by this revelation and calls her a monster. Back at Akita, Passapart out and Phileas' dad run to find Ada to ask for her help. They meet her fix her plane and tell her about what happened to Phileas. She hastily fixes the plane, and they fly out in search of their friend. They soon sight Agent Fix and Phileas and navigate the plane in his direction. They try to get him to hop on the plane, but Agent Fix constantly moves him away from their direction. Phileas is later dropped by the bird, and he starts falling from the sky into the ocean. Ada and Passapart out both exclaim in fear, and his father jumps off the place to rescue him. Midair, Phileas' father apologizes to him about his childhood and asks that he allows him to help him. Ada drives the plane downward to save both Phileas and his father, but Agent Fix uses the bird to obstruct her. Ada then drives her plane towards the water, baiting the bird and Agent Fix who chase after her with zeal. As she almost touches the water, Ada raises the plane upwards while Agent Fix and her bird fly into the water. Ada catches Phileas and his dad from the sky, saving them from falling into the ocean. Phileas thanks her and also his father for sacrificing himself to try to save him, and his father reveals that he is proud that his son is about to break his record. They all drive through the sky toward their destination and along the way, Passapart out makes a discovery and points to a habitation below them. 
This discovery according to Philia's dad makes him a world-class explorer. They fly all through the day and into the night. In the morning, which is the 80th day and the last day, Passapartout's mom still stands at the boardwalk waiting for her son's arrival. One of the shrimp discourages his and tells her that there's no way her son and Philia's would make it through the jungle. Philia's and his team soon appear in a distance, and they flying towards the village. Suddenly, Agent Fix appears behind them with her bird and attacks their plane, sending all of them into the ocean. The shrimps are excited by this and announce that it's just one minute left for the bet to come to an end. One of the shrimps lets out an alarm, and they all see Passapart out, Phileas, his dad, and Otta surfing on the waves with the bird's feathers towards the village. They are thrown by the waves into the boardwalk just in time to close the bet. Everyone around gives Passapart out and Phileas a round of applause and congratulates them for their feat. They are all excited, but it is short-lived as Agent Fix comes out of the water flying toward where the animals are. She lands and soon accuses Phileas of robbing the bank but she implicates herself as she speaks and unknowingly confesses the truth. The animals hear everything she says and send her away in exile from the village. Phileas and Passapartout are handed their cash reward and the entire village throws a party, dancing happily to the rhythm. The end. If you love this video, please leave a like and subscribe.